Hello friends, it's Tanuja. For this episode of Vegan Lovely Recipes, I'm going to show you how I make risotto. It's quite cool here at the moment, so it's the perfect season for a comforting bowl of creamy risotto. Risotto is actually rather simple to make. All it needs is some tender loving stirring care and you can be sure your risotto will return your favours. I'll leave the link to the full recipe in the description box below, so let's get started. We are going to need 5 medium golden or yellow beetroot, about 12 fresh mushrooms, 1 vegetable stock cube, you can use any brand but just make sure it's a vegan some um, red chili flakes lemon for the juice nutritional yeast it's actually optional coconut oil minced ginger and I'm using cow rose rice you can also use arborio rice but I like to stop the pantry with cow rose because I use it both for risotto and sushi. I'm also using a few sprigs of fresh parsley and salt to taste. Begin by peeling the beetroot. Then take a knife and um, take off the little bits that are left. If you find that the beetroot have got a little bit of dirt on them, you can wash them before slicing them. Discard the part around the root, then cut through to make slices of about 5mm thick or quarter of an inch thick. I like to cut them across the cross section because I like to see the nice ring pattern that they have on them but you can also cut them in the other direction if that's easier for you. We are going to start by cooking the beetroot. So turn the heat to medium, then in a large pan add a little water. Next add in the beetroot slices. Sprinkle with a little salt, then cover and let them cook with a steam. While the beetroot is cooking, we can go ahead and prepare the rest of the vegetables. So slice the mushrooms and finely chop the parsley leaves. Occasionally check on the beetroot and flip them and rotate them around so that they cook evenly. Insert a fork into the beetroots to check if they are ready. If they are soft and the fork goes in smoothly, it means they are cooked and we can remove them out of the pan. Now we can go ahead and add the mushrooms in the same pan. There's no need to add any oil or water as when we add um, a little bit of salt, the mushroom will seep out some of their own liquid and they will cook in their own juice. The mushrooms will only take about 3-4 to four minutes to cook after which we can remove them out of the pan. Next, we're going to make a broth out of the vegetable stock cube. So put it into a jug and start by mashing it into a paste. You may add a little water if it helps to break it down. Mm -hmm. 
then add more water to make up uh, three cups of broth. Turn the heat to a low medium. Now add about half tablespoon of coconut oil to the pan and that's pretty much the only amount of um, fat that we are going to add in this recipe. Allow the oil to heat up a little bit and then add about half tablespoon of minced ginger. Next add the rice into the pan and stir it around to coat every grain with the oil. The coconut oil mixed with the ginger and the rice was giving up a wonderful fragrance at this stage. Once the rice grains are a little translucent, add about one cup of the vegetable broth to the pan. Stir this around and mix well with the rice. And now cover and let the rice absorb the liquid. You have to constantly check on the rice and as soon as the liquid is absorbed, go on and add another cup of the broth to the pan. Now leave the rice to simmer as it absorbs the liquid. And meanwhile, we can go ahead and cut the beetroot into smaller pieces for the risotto. Once the second batch of broth is absorbed, go on and add the last cup of broth to the rice. Leave the rice to simmer again as it absorbs the liquid. Now add a little hot water at a time and allow the rice to absorb it. Continue doing this until the rice is almost done. Now we can increase the heat slightly. When the rice is almost cooked, you may add salt to taste. I've tasted it at this stage and it definitely needed a bit more salt. Add a little more water if it needs it and then add in all the vegetables. If there's any liquid from the mushrooms, add that in as well as it would give the risotto a really nice taste. Now give all this a good stir and add in the chili flakes. Then add the nutritional yeast if you're using it. Add a couple of handfuls of the chopped parsley. Add a few drops of lemon juice. And now the risotto is almost ready. To know whether you have the right consistency, risotto should be oozy and not stodgy. So when you're swirling your spoon around in the pan, the risotto should come back and fill the space. 
you know, just like a wave, it should go and flow and come back. And now for the last part, five minutes before the rice is completely done, cover and turn off the heat and leave the risotto to sit there for about five to seven minutes. And after that, it should be ready to serve. Where you came from or the way the wind will blow I only know we'll follow you No matter where you go And when the candles start to fade Slowly we'll descend But I'll never be afraid Mm. This is very delicious, very creamy, very tasty. If you can find yellow beetroot, do give this a try because it's really delicious. And if you have any leftover risotto, you can make risotto cakes the next day, which I'm probably going to do. I might film the video too, so please subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you've liked this recipe so i'll see you next time bye when the time has come to fall i won't shed a tear because for a time we had it all